Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the Migration Update for April 25th, 2024 from the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. A reminder that the Braddock Bay Raptor Research Bird of Prey Days Festival begins tomorrow night, that's Friday, April 26th, and then will continue all day on Saturday and Sunday. I'll put a link in the description for you to check out. Kim and I started out the morning at the Braddock Bay West Spit where there was a cold northeasterly wind. And the waves on Lake Ontario were large and loud. Here we have a large dark raptor. We see a large head on this bird. This is an immature bald eagle. We see that it's not quite in full adult plumage yet. Starting to get the white head and tail, but still a lot of splotchy white underneath. And I think we saw this bird the other day because this is holding its foot down a little bit funny like it might be injured. Here we have another young bald eagle. On this one we see a brown head. The underside is starting to get kind of pale. A lot of white here in the wing pit area and an even trailing edge to the wing, but we do see that it is starting to molt. That's why there's a gap in the wing here. This is a juvenile bald eagle, one that was born last year. Here we have a somewhat large woodpecker with a lot of spotting underneath and we see a lot of yellow in the wings and tail. And no mustache on the face. This is a female northern flicker. At the West Spit, we had 27 species. Next, I made my way over to Braddock Bay Park to get some morning birding in, and you can see it was a beautiful sunny morning, but again, fairly chilly with temperatures starting out in the 30s and only getting up into the 40s today. Here we have two birds perched up in a tree that are yellow with a black bib. These are eastern meadowlarks. And this photo is a bit soft, but we have a large sparrow. We see rufous sides and overall brown on the back. This is a female eastern towhee. At Braddock Bay Park, I had 31 species. Because of those northeasterly winds, I conducted the hawk watch from Frisbee Hill today. Here we see a bird that's mostly dark underneath with a brown head. This is a male brown-headed cowbird. And this species sometimes gets a bad rap because they are nest parasites, meaning that they lay their eggs in the nests of other bird species and leave the other species to raise the young. But they are a native species. Here's a large dark raptor with a large head and a lot of splotchy white throughout the underside. This is an immature bald eagle. Here's a large bird that's two-toned underneath with a small red head. This is a turkey vulture, and we had a couple dozen turkey vultures today, but overall a really slow day for migration and tough spotting with those blue skies. Well, I thought there was a bird in this photo, but I can't see it now. Can you? Ah, much easier from the side. Here we have a brown creeper. I was wandering around a bit and I flushed a female mallard from very close range. It really startled me. And I looked down and there was a nest with eight eggs. So I took a quick photo and then moved away so the female could return to the nest. Here we have a small beautio with pointed wings. We see a dark trailing edge to the wings and a dark tail with a wide white band. This is an adult broad-winged hawk. And it was the only broad-winged hawk of the day, which is kind of funny when you consider the recent numbers that we've had, but that's what happens when you have the wind coming off of the lake. It just pushes the broad wings farther away from the lake shore if they are migrating. Here we have an osprey with some very long nesting material. And it was taking it up to the nest, and I don't know where they find this stuff, but they come up with all kinds of garbage that they're always bringing into the nest. Here we have a large swallow that's a deep blue or purple underneath. It's a male purple martin. Here was my view for most of the day, staring into blue skies of death. When you have a blue sky like this, the raptors tend to disappear, especially when they get up high on the thermals. Plus there was an unfavorable northeast wind, so not much migration today and hard to spot the migration that there was. At Frisbee Hill, I had 29 species. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 26 turkey vultures, 4 bald eagles, 2 northern harriers, 1 broad-winged hawk, and 3 red-tailed hawks for a total of 36 migrating raptors. That brings the April total to 38,709 and the season total to 46,829. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking mainly sunny with a high in the low 50s. Winds are starting out southeast and shifting around to northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour, so it's a fairly strong easterly wind. If the wind stays more southeast or east for longer, we might end up with a bit of a flight from the platform. As it shifts around more north, we probably won't have much of a flight. For Saturday, we're looking at showers early and then a steady rain later and a high in the upper 50s. 
and winds south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So it's a good southerly wind to encourage birds to migrate. But if there's too much rain, then there might not be much of a raptor migration. We'll just have to see. And I hope you come out and visit us for Bird of Prey Days. And for Sunday, we're looking at a few morning showers and then lingering clouds with a high in the mid-70s. Yes, you heard that right. I think tonight it's going down below freezing, but by Sunday it'll be 74. Winds west-southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So those are great winds, very favorable. And we could end up with another big broadwing flight as long as it's not too gloomy and rainy. But I'm thinking that Sunday might be the next big day, so we'll keep an eye on that. And that would be great to have that for Bird of Prey Day's weekend when there will be lots of visitors around. All right, well, it was a beautiful sunny day, though a tad chilly, but just not very good conditions for hawk migration. But looks like we'll have some more good days coming up with Bird of Prey Days this weekend. So I hope to see you out soon at the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. From LEGO Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.